Hi friends, welcome back. Previously on Lost, <laughs> previously we um, we made this video where we talked about drawing random objects and how that can help you improve your sketching drawing skills. And today we're gonna keep adding on to that, but um, and I'm gonna be basically using the same subject or object and but I'm gonna be experimenting with um, charcoal and ink and stuff but before we begin with today's topic I just wanna um, I wanna say first of all I wanna say thank you so so much to all of the uh, people all the small channels that have been uh, showing me love and subscribing to my channel and watching my videos and uh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's keep on helping each other out, okay? And um, I want to give a shout out to a particular channel that they were very kind to me. They gave me a shout out on, on their uh, on one of their videos. It's called um, Gary, uh, Gary Waller Vlogs and they're a um, very new YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave their link down below. Please check them out. They're a couple and they're beautiful people. They love going on cruises and, and then they describe the experience and um, the food and and it, they're just very enjoyable to watch. Very, very nice people. So check the link down below. Also, I wanna give a shout out to Andre, Andre Martinez Sagras. The music that you hear on the background, it's made by him. He has a small YouTube channel. He puts a lot of effort into it. He has over 500 videos and he needs a little help with uh, subscribers. So I'm gonna leave his link down below as well. And also I wanna give a shout out to Jazzy Puppet. Um, she has been on, <laughs> on YouTube for a while. I remember her since we began doing this channel she's adorable she, uh, her channel is oriented towards uh, children but she puts a lot of effort into it and she's very supportive with small channels and I will also leave her link down below so thank you all of you thank you so so much okay so today's topic yeah let's just talk about art and, art and forget about all the craziness that has been going on shall we what I'm doing today, I am using the same object or subject, but I'm actually trying to create a little piece of art. And I am experimenting with uh, charcoal and inks, and this is what I want to talk you about, um, talk to you guys about experimenting in art and how that can help you find or define your own uh, style and um, and why it is important um, first of all on the first sketch that you saw we we look take took a look at the end and then we saw that there were many things that didn't really eh, turn out too good there were um, I was uh, um, I had a little bit of issue with uh, symmetry and uh, some proportions were not accurate, some shadows were not accurate. So this time I'm using a completely different medium, but I am paying more attention to those areas where I screwed up on the first um, sketch. Um, so that's one of the things I am paying attention to. And at the same time, I am trying to bring the same element of surprise, the same um, um, element of uh, unpredictability, unpredictability the, un the unpredictable, <laughs> that uh, was one of the first things that came to my mind when I saw the percolator or coffee pot, I was like, Ooh, that's, you know, so I wanted to bring that element of surprise and that, that's why I started I took my brush and I started making like random brush strokes all over okay and uh, but I wanted to balance that out 
with at the same time trying to make a representation of the object. So I, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to bring um, surreal or abstract element while at the same time bring a representational aspect to this uh, work on, on paper. And the reason why I call it an experiment really is because of the paper that I'm using. It was the first time I used ink and charcoal and um, this kind of paper. I have done the combination before, but on mixed media paper. So uh, for me, it was an experiment because of the paper I was working on. Um, but um, I wanted my drawing to be a little better. I wanted to pay more, more attention to the proportions. I think it, at the end, it did turn out a lot better than the sketch. Still not a, 100% the way I wanted it to, to be but because I added that surreal element to it it actually I ended up liking it I, I, I do like it um, to me art personally to me art it's about uh, self expression it's a necessity it's a necessity for me to express my feelings express myself and I think this is why many artists that are uh, or that uh, do surreal or, or abstract art are very uh, or are so incomprehended. It's because their art is not about representation; it's about expression. Okay. So I wanted to bring both of those things or combine both of those things into this work that I was doing here. And in terms of that, I think it. I, I was happy with it. I, I, I did like it. Um, I think I could have done a lot better, but yes, it, it did turn out. Uh, I was satisfied enough that I wanted to share it here. <laughs> but yes. Why is it important to experiment, to explore different tools and mediums? This is something that I was encouraged to do many years ago. I took this art class. I was I was a teenager back then and I took a painting class and it was extremely challenging for me because most students of my group were adults already and they were amazing at drawing. And I didn't take a drawing class. I just went straight to painting, but I learned so much. And the teacher that I had, he was an amazing artist. And he made a lot of emphasis in experimenting. He was like, hey, take some acrylic, take a tube of acrylic, then take a piece of charcoal and try to make something out of that. And and, and, and so on. And, and like there are endless combinations that you can try. And what, I, what that is going to do for you as a creative person, as an aspiring artist, you're going to have an opportunity to come up with something new. You're going to have an opportunity to bring something to the table that maybe no one else has done. And at the same time, it's going to um, help you um, develop your own personal style. And in the world of art, unfortunately, that is super important. Why? Because there's many, many, many artists out there. It's like an endless sea of art and creativity. And these are times that require for you to kind of stand up. And I, I'm not speaking for myself in terms of standing out. For me, art is a necessity. I make art for myself. I... Um, I have done some work out there and collaborations and stuff, but I don't make art to 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 be like, hey, look what I am, what I can make, look what I can draw. Like it's to me, that's not what I am going for. To me, is it's a necessity. Like I said, it's a way of expressing my feelings, and it makes me uh, feel uh, rewarded on the inside. It's like soul food for me but if you want to make a career as an artist yes you do need to stand up you do need to develop your own style and one of the key things that's going to help you achieve that trust me 
is to experiment with different mediums okay it's almost like you can come up or you can create uh, order out of chaos you know um, or at least that's that's how it feels for me that's how it felt well I, when I was doing this <laughs> this uh, percolator here it felt like uh, I was trying to make sense in the middle of chaos and um, mess uh, I was trying to combine that with an actual representation of the object and yeah it there were many parts that I purposely left sort of like undone and then there were other parts where I took a little like made a little bit, bit more of an effort and that was done on purpose but still I find that at the end there were there were some proportions on it that I was not too happy with but in general it did look nice so I hope uh, that uh, you found this discussion uh, interesting and um, let's just get back into the uh, youtuber the youtube small youtubers controversy that's going on right now and uh, let's all be optimistic okay and if this is something that's going to stop you from creating content here then maybe you were never very inspired to do that on the first place in my case it was extremely frustrating because I was already starting to make a revenue it's like I almost feel like margin marginalized you know like thrown on the same sack as other people that are spammers or doing negative stuff on, on the platform but anyways um, but at the end I'm, I won't feel discouraged because this is something I enjoy I will continue to try and grow this channel and uh, I'll try to bring as much as I can in a positive way and I will continue to support you small channels out there watch your videos and share your videos and that is going to be a priority for me right now so thank you again and um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna let you appreciate the music that's playing on the background. I will leave his link down below. He's not only my husband, <laughs> but he's an, an amazing musician and uh, he does a lot for the aspiring uh, music producers in the platform. He puts a lot of effort into it. So. I will see you guys on my next video. <laughs> Much love. <laughs> Bye.